Hello and welcome to Security. Today we're going to be continuing or rounding up the TriHackMe Meta Room. And today we're going to be looking at Attack 6 and Attack 7, um, which is the Attack Emulation Plant and the uh, Attack and Threat Intelligence. So this should not be too long. Let's just get right into it. So attack emulation plant. If these tools provided to us by Meta are not enough, under Meta Ingenuity we have CTID and the adversary emulation library. So you could just read through this. It's talking about the center of threat from defense and um, also adversary emulation library and attack emulation plant. So yeah, you just need to answer these questions. How many phases does the AP3 emulation plant consist of? If it's a tree, so all you have to do is open open up if it's a tree in the next tab in the new tab, and you can see it has um, three phases. So under persistence, what binary was replaced with cmd.exe? So if you check this, it's saying you should check under the in the PDF file or the document of the ap 3 adversary emulation plan. So you click on um, where is it this? And you get the document. So all you have to do is search for persistence. Let's see. So now we have the system, and it says if it's a three has replaced the sticky keys binary with CMD, and this is the binary. And um, just set, set C dot exe. So that's the answer for that. Okay, so examining if it's 29, what two tools were used to execute the first scenario? So I think the GitHub has changed since I did this. Um, answer this question, but so what you need to do is you need to go in, go to the GitHub and you need to click on archive and look at the emulation plant. So yeah, so you need to open up this PDF file. which explains the steps that we're taking. So if you scroll down here, you see um, day one, which is scenario one. This content was, to, the content of the good scenario was to send the loop using Poppy, which is one, and Metaprita. So Poppy and, and um, if you look at the hint here, it says for, for the second name, you find what tool is it a part of. So Metaprita is a part of Metasploit, and so that's the answer for that question, Poppy and Metasploit. So what tool was used to execute the second scenario? So going back to the same document, we will look for day two, which is scenario two. Um, okay, so the content to execute this scenario was tested and developed using Posh2, and that's the answer for in this question. Okay, so now we're done with tax six and the attack emulation plant. You can go to tax seven. And um, yeah, you can read through the instructions, but basically it's a scenario and you have a security analyst who works in the aviation sector. Your organization is moving the infrastructure to the cloud. Your goal is to use the attack matrix to gather threat intelligence on APC groups who might target this particular sector and use techniques um, targeting your areas of concern. You are checking to see if there are any gaps in coverage. After selecting a group, look over the selected group's, group's information and the tactics, techniques, etc. So, yeah, so what's it? Answer the question as well. What's a group that targets your sector and has been in operation since 2013? 
So let's let's see. So two things. It says use the attack ma um, attack matrix. So we can open up the attack matrix. Um, Mitre attack. And now we're looking at groups. So we can just go to groups. So if we scroll down, you see there's a lot of groups. So let's see. Uh, looking at one that targets the aviation sector. And here we have done that and we can see um, APT33. Well, let's see, it says it has been in operation since at least 2013. So let's see, um, yeah, if, if you open it up, you can see it has carried out operations since at least 2013. So that's the answer for that one. Does this group use Stuxnet? Stuxnet. Um, let's see. Let's look for the tools, the tools that this group uses. Software. If we see it anywhere, it's not listed among the tools. But we can just search to come from. No, it's not anywhere here. So that's the answer for that. No, it doesn't. Um, as the organization is migrated to cloud, is there any thing attributed to this APC group that you should? Focus on same method, just search for cloud, and here we see cloud accounts. And um, this is one of the techniques used. So, basically, this APC group um, uses as used as compromised of 365 accounts in an attempt to gain control of endpoints. So yeah, that's it. So what tool is associated with this technique? Um, let's see. It says it has a compromise of 365 accounts in tandem with ruler in attempt to gain control of endpoints. So we can click on this ruler just to confirm. It's a ruler is a tool used to abuse Microsoft Exchange services. So that's the answer for that. So it says Pay the detection tip, what should you be detecting? So if we go to this, because we're talking about um, anything attributed to the APT group, so which is cloud accounts. So if you open up cloud accounts, and it says, um, let's see, what should you be detecting? Let's go on the detection. So it says, monitor the activity of cloud accounts to detect abnormal or malicious behavior. So that's what we should be detecting. And it says, what platform does this affect? What platforms does it affect? So if we scroll down, we see, here on the platforms, we see Azure, Azure Active Directory, Google Workspaces, IS Office 365, and um, SAS. So that's the answer for that. So that's the end of the trial in my chat room. Um, if you like this video, it was useful to you. You can support the channel by liking and subscribing. And um, yeah, until the next video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you. Bye.